All right, Kira, how hard was that? Yeah, that was pretty tough. That was one of the more tough ones I did. I felt really good through two loops, and then going into the third, I don't know, something along here, just kind of gave out and went down on my right leg, and I felt like I just couldn't pick up my right leg. And that sucked, because like, then you're just debating, like, do I finish this? Like, you know, I went in wanting to compete and wanting to like show what I can do and compete on a world stage. And, when you have to ship your goals to just finishing, that's uh, it's tough. But I finished, you know, I showed my kids that I could finish. Do you think it had anything to do with the heat or it was, was it an unrelated issue? No, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I mean, the heat didn't feel good. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good at hydrating. I feel like that's like one of my superhero powers is to be able to take in a lot of water. Um, but I don't know, I've never had that happen in a race before and I want to figure out why that happened and make sure that never happens again. Yeah, it was, that wasn't something you dealt with in your build up, any irritation um, in that area? Something I'm aware of and I need to do exercises to keep in place. Um, it's something I treat regularly, but I've just never had it give out like that yeah. before. It's the, it's the hip or what is it specifically? I don't know what it is. It's like right here. It's when my hip gets out of line. It's like almost not even my psoas, top of the hip flexor maybe. I'm not TFI. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, but that will pinch. And I feel like I'm okay with it just pinching, but it just stopped working and into my hamstring and calf. So that was brutal. And it like... I don't know, just uh, stinks a little bit when that happens and you know the race you've been training for all year. So I definitely came in fit and healthy and didn't show that today, but yeah. you know, I guess I can't win them all, right? <laughs> Why'd you want to do this race? I wanted to experience racing on the international level and you know, these races run a little bit differently when it is for a title. There's a lot more surges, you see a lot more people in the lead pack and that's the experience that I wanted to gain from this. I also liked that it was going to be hot and humid thinking Orlando would and the timing of this for Orlando I thought would be perfect timing because I could take my break and then do a full build up. So there was a lot of reasons why I wanted to and then also like I'm never going to say no to Team USA. You know, that's like why I'm back here and competing. It's for moments like this, like good, bad, or ugly. Like, that's why I'm back. And I'm really proud to have the USA on. And, you know, I definitely gave it my all. Unfortunately, my all wasn't really enough today. But. What do you make of the Olympic trials having the noon stop time? You know, I told myself I wasn't going to think about it until after this race. And kind of the way I look at it, you tell me the time to show up, and that's the time I'm going to start my race, you know. So whatever time they decide, that's when I'll start all my workouts, and I get really used to running whenever they do. So you just tell me when to be there, and I'll be, I'll be ready. Yeah. How do you feel like you handle being humidity usually? Yeah, you know, I train through this. So, I mean, I was never feeling sorry for myself that it was hot, you know, but, um, but it affects you. You know, you have to run a little differently. You have to hair and fuel a little more and um, maybe I need to look into that to make sure that I can handle this better I guess. But, yeah. You're thinking full marathon training block or no 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 other additional race inserted or anything like that between now and no, I'll do right? no more marathons. Yeah. You won't see me <laughs> starting in a fall marathon but I'll definitely find some shorter races to get me race ready. Um, definitely need uh, need some races for the ego at this point but um, you know like training went great it was very consistent this year I had probably the best training I've ever had in my life so you know I know that this doesn't show that but I know what I went through and I know what kind of fitness I'm in so I'm gonna like brush this off as a bad day but I'm not a bad runner so, I'm gonna, like, take this, so. And at what point in the race did that uh, the right side thing start it's happening? like going into the third loop you know like it was interesting because everyone was surging really hard into the water stock so I kind of knew this and they'd slow down. So it's like I wasn't trying to like yo-yo with them as much because I knew that they'd slow back down. But it was like right as they like surged into the water stop on the third lap that it just fell this like go. And I'm like, well, that's, that's not good. So. Did you ever think about dropping out to sort of protect you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought about it every step the last two laps. But like, I just know my kids, Thomas and Quinn are watching. And that's why I didn't. Yeah. Do they come here to watch or are they back home? No, they're at home. I think my uh, my mom will stay up late or get up in the middle of the night to watch this. So, so maybe they're watching. But just knowing that they're watching, I just wanted to show them. Like, you know, if you can, keep going, you do it, you know. Yeah. Thanks, Kira. Thank you.